All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another First Impressions live stream. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Um, I have a feeling that most of the people that watch this video will probably be watching a replay of this live stream, but maybe somebody will, um, you know, come in live and ask questions or tell us their thoughts in the chat. So we'll leave the uh, chat open and respond to any questions we get while we play the game. Guys, this is a first impressions review of a game I got a couple of days ago from the developer Caparina Games and publisher Toplitz Productions. Uh, they offered me a Steam key to this game. It's called My Little Writing Champion, and this looks like something that would be a dream game for those children and kids that love, love, love horses. So, this game comes in, guys, at a price tag of $29.99 its first week since it launched back on, uh, looks like November 29th, yeah. Uh, you do get a 15% discount, so you save yourself about four and a half bucks right now. And uh, it says, your horse, your passion, get ready to fulfill your dreams at a gallop. Uh, choose your favorite horse, take care of it, train it, and win medals for your club. So, it looks like you can dress yourself up, you can probably pick different horses, and you can ride it. It reminds me of a game that my daughter used to like when she was real little. Like, I'm talking four or five years old, called uh, Barbie Horse Adventures back on the PlayStation. I'm thinking the PlayStation 3, but it might have been the PlayStation 2. Probably was the PlayStation 2. But this is this game, guys. It says there's over 15 hours of gameplay with intense training, missions, and rides. And hopefully, the playability is something that, you know, hopefully, there's a lot of replay value. Otherwise, this price tag does seem a little bit high, uh, you know, just initially looking at it. So you have lots of different horses to choose from. You can do real horse care and upkeep and an emotion, create an emotional bond with the pixels on your screen of a horse. A large number of customization options. Uh, an open world to explore with lots of long rides. Over 15 hours of gameplay with intense training, missions and rides. And many different types of competitions and rewards. So again, guys, we're just going to go ahead and jump into this game and give it a first impressions look and see if we think it's, you know, see if I think it's worth your 30 US dollars. See how the game plays, see, you know, if there's any kind of bugs, how the controls work, that kind of thing. Um, it does offer full controller support, so that is a thing as well. But let's go ahead and jump into my little writing champion right now. And I haven't played it even one minute yet, so we're going to... We're going to explore this game together, guys. All right, give me just a second here. All right, bam. No, we don't want to quit the game. I don't know how that got hit. All right, so here we are in the main menu. We can see the horse. We can see the butterflies uh, around. Hopefully the volume's not too loud. Let's go ahead and turn the music volume down a little bit more than it already is. And uh, we'll turn everything else down a little bit as well. And see. And graphics by default, it does the default to my native graphic resolution of my monitor. And quality slider bar, that's fine. Controls, so you can um, assign different input devices. So if you have a controller here, you can hook up a controller, which is good, especially if kids are going to be playing this. By default, it's WASD, E to interact, F to mount and dismount, escape is pause, left control, and left shift for slow down and go faster. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just uh, get out of that. Credits. All right, so there are a few people that were involved with the development of this game. That might be why they're asking for 30 US dollars for it. Everybody wants a chunk of the money or a chunk of the sales. Who is he talking? Are you talking to Max? All right. 
got programmers, got a lead programmer, you got technical artists, got a 3D artist, got a story. Uh, it's written by a story lead tester, music, and then you get some special things. There's probably some testers, etc. Well, let's go ahead and jump into a new game, guys. So you can save up to six games, all right? Loading. So welcome to the stream. You guys might hear my son in the background playing on his computer. He's playing a game with friends, so don't let that bother you too much. All right, a beautiful day is dawning. All right, here we are, guys. Chapter one, arrival. The writing stable is very different from what I remember of it. Uncle must have put a lot of work into it. Too bad he's not here anymore. I'll take good care of it. Okay, so her uncle died and she remembers his um, horse barn, I guess, in the area from when she was a child, I guess it'll say. Hey, who's that man over there? To talk to him, I have to go into the marker next to him and use the displayed control for interaction. Okay. The site is marked with an X symbol on the small map at the bottom right of the screen. The task will be displayed in the task field until I've completed it. If I've got several tasks to do at the same time, only the main task is displayed there. I can use the displayed control at any time to open... Okay. All right, so we can hit T to open our This is my booklet. mission booklet. Here you can see my current task. I'm As you can see, there's a lot of side tasks that I can still tackle. And even a treasure hunt. Great. So when can I start taking all these tasks on? Close the mission booklet by clicking on the button with the green check mark. Okay. So it's giving you the controls again. Oh my god, I moved so slow. Okay, I can run now, so that's good. What's up, buddy? You need to interact? Hello, Louisa. Did you arrive safely? I'm Frank, and I was a very good friend of your uncle's. Have you looked around yet? Um. Hello, Frank. My trip was fine. But I haven't really had a chance to look around yet. Then I'll show you around. The riding school was your uncle's pride and joy. He had no children and you were his only niece, so he left it to you. That big building over there is the house with your room. You can do various things in your room, like finish the current day and save the current game. You can also change your t-shirts, jeans, Shoes and riding gear if you have some in your wardrobe. Okay. You can also change your hair color there. There's a mailbox in front of the house. Use the displayed control for interaction to get your mail out of it. Do you see the longish building next to the house? That's the stable for your horses. You can store horse riding accessories like saddles, bridles, and saddle blankets at the back of the stable. The stable normally holds up to six horses, but most of the boxes need repairing, so only one is available right now. If you want to buy new boxes, just drop by my shop in the village. I'm the local dealer here for horses and equestrian equipment. Great. Is there a riding club here? Yep, there certainly is. Your uncle was the president of the club for many years. After his death, I took over the chairmanship. But without him, it's just not the same. What do you mean? Your uncle was a great person, but he was also an excellent show jumper. He won a lot of prizes and brought in funds and donations to support All the right. club. Funding just doesn't come in without a local champion. And we're in bad shape. I'm afraid we'll have to close the riding club soon. That's terrible. Is there anything I can do to help? The club has to win the major tournament this year to survive. But the competition's well, you're, you're extremely strong. Have, uh, Cornelia has won every title for the last five years. <laughs> Beating her will be a heck of a challenge. Great. All right. I love challenges. Where do we start? You really help us? Well, that's great. Your uncle had a horse you could train with, but it disappeared after your uncle died, and no one knows where it is. Better check the stable entrance. Maybe you'll be lucky and find its tracks. I'll wait for you. I should start by looking at the stable entrance. All right, so it tells me where I gotta go. I gotta look at the entrance. I gotta hit probably E. Yep. Here are some tracks on the ground, and they still look pretty fresh. I mean, I can see how a kid might like this game. Nearby. I hope I find it quickly. We don't have much time. <laughs> okay, find your horse in the forest. So follow the tracks. Okay. It wants me to hit E again. No. 
Okay, she's kind of sh it's kind of showing me where to go. If I can't see the little tracks. All right, cool, cool. The tracks lead into the forest. I like the sounds of like the birds and stuff, the insects. All right. Come here, horsey, horsey. Where are you, horsey, horsey? All right. Can't jump. That's cool. Ah, oh, we found the horse. Hey, come here, you silly horse. Hey, here you are. Frank didn't even tell me your name. What am I supposed to call you? So we can name it whatever we want. We're going to name this one Ape. Don't worry. You'll be home soon. All right. Okay. Let's get back to my riding stable. Well, what have we here? Oh, it's the uh, current champion, Cornelia. Oh, hello. I'm Luisa. And who are you? Who am I? Hmm. I'm just the five-time winner of the big annual show jumping tournament. And the title holder this year, too. Ew. Cornelia's my name. I'm sure you've heard of me. Oh, yes. Frank mentioned you were in the tournament, too. Too? You don't really want to compete against me, do you? Huh. Do you actually think that you have even a oh slight my. chance against me? She's a little bit snooty, ain't she? I am determined to participate and win. Ha! Don't make me laugh. I'm sure you don't even know how to ride a horse right, and that you can steer it with the displayed controls. And you certainly don't know that every time the display control is activated, the horse chooses a faster gait. And every time the display control is pressed, its gait gets slower again. And I bet you've never heard that the display control gets the horse to jump either. Oh boy. Ha! You probably don't even know that you mount and dismount using this control. Not to mention that your horse loses more endurance the faster it goes and has to rest and go slower when the endurance display is empty. Sounds legit. Mm. Well, of course I know how to ride a horse. I rode almost every day in my childhood. Your childhood probably was before your club's last victory. Ah, I've wasted enough time here. See you at the tournament. Okay. Bye. Yeah, she's a little bit snooty. All that right. was a friendly encounter. Yeah, right. I am a little rusty, though. But that's something we can fix, isn't it? Lucky for me, our new acquaintance didn't realize she was actually telling me how to do it right. Not very clever of her. I should mount up and go back to the riding stable. Okay. So we're going to come here. We're going to hit F. Said F. Oh. Use the displayed control to mount your horse. I'm hitting F. There we go. You can now see some new displays at the top of the screen. The top bar shows. All right, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. You can now see some new displays at the top of the screen. The top bar shows you the level progress of the horse.
All right, guys, we are back here, and um, you can now see display. So we have it looks like that's probably his uh, the horse's uh, energy level, and then it looks like he might have a health as well. But we'll, I'm sure we'll find out. The number to the left of the bar is its current level, and the number to the right of it is the next level. Okay. Just walk the horse or stop, and it will recover. The higher this level is, the more endurance a horse has. Okay. The heart symbol indicates the horse's contentment. If a horse is dirty, it becomes discontent and may no longer jump or gallop. Ah. In my stable, I can take care of it and always make it feel good. I use the displayed control to move forward, and with each press of this displayed control, I can increase its speed from a walk to a trot to a gallop. Let's do this. The horse is... Okay. All right, so the ho the uh, heart into a trot by using the displayed control. Okay, so shift to trot. Okay, we gotta hold it down. Hey, this no. works great. We can just tap I it. I have to use this control again to ride at a fast trot. I'm sure it'll help me in competitions. Notice its energy going down. To a gallop and give it a try. So I use the displayed control again to change to a gallop. And then use it once more to move into the fastest gallop. Okay, so I'm in the fastest gallop right now. Can I go through a tree? No, I can't. Can I go through a rock? That's the kind of stuff I really want to test out. Whoa! That was a little bit buggy. Alright. Okay, so if I hit control now... Oh, it wants me to go to a faster gate. Whoa! No. Some kind of windows pop up. Hey, came really fast, but it uses up a lot of endurance. When my horse gets tired, I should change to a walk or even stop to increase the endurance level. So I just use the display control several times to change to a slower pace each time. Okay. But now back to the riding stable. Obstacles can usually be overcome with the display control because then my horse will jump. Okay, I get it. But my horse is still too discontent right now, so jumping is out. Okay, so it's too discontent to jump. That's why I couldn't jump. Okay. Right back to the table, stable, and uh, into the marker beside Frank. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the red X. Let's go ahead and increase the speed so it doesn't take us four hours to get there. Okay. So here we are, guys. Riding around. I mean, I like the heels. I like the trees. I mean, I think kids are going to like this game. I mean, there's no doubt if you are if you have a kid that loves horses, they're probably going to love this game. If we try to go in the water, okay. It automatically slows down, but you can go in the water, okay. No, I don't want to turn on the sticky keys. This window keeps, this option keeps popping up on windows. Damn it. Okay. Slow down. We found the horse, buddy. We are back. Thanks for waiting, Frank. Okay. I see you found the horse. Very nice. Yeah, it was all alone in the forest. I see you two have already got to know each other pretty well. You really do have a knack for horses, Louisa, but it got pretty dirty on that little trip. You can't enter the tournament like this. Do you see its heart symbol? It's not completely full anymore. Here's where you can clean your horse. Ride your horse into the marker and use the displayed control to care for it. Care increases contentment and fills up the heart symbol. I have okay. to clean my horse now. All right, so we're going to come here. It's going to tell us to hit E and tell us how to do it exactly. It looks you are like. now in the cleaning view. Here you can see all the tasks you have to do to keep your horse in top condition. Select the brush. Clean the rough dirt off first. Just run the brush over the horse. The bar above. 
Okay, so the bar above shows you when you get it all clean. So basically, I guess you gotta clean everything, including the tail, maybe? Okay. Very good. Next, you grab the sponge. Now you can move the sponge, like the brush, over your horse's coat and clean it of any dirt. Yay! What fun this is! As the last step, select the hoof pick to clean. Now move the hoof pick several times over the small lumps to clean the hooves. You don't have to click it or anything, you just move over it. Very good. All done. Now where's our heart, Mr. Horse? Look at the deer. Aw. You should always make sure that your horses are well groomed. If you neglect them, they'll become discontent and will no longer obey all your commands. You can check the status of your horses in the horse overview by using the displayed control. Okay. Here you can see your horse and all the necessary information about it, like its name, endurance, contentment, and level. You can call up the horse overview at any time and click on the done button to close it. Okay. Now that your horse is clean again, you can start training right away. Nearby is your own training ground, which you can always use. My son Martin is waiting for you there to explain the basics. Here is the map of the area. Thank you. Okay. What a great map. The training ground should be close by. I just hope I'm not too rusty. I can close the map by clicking on done. Okay. Right, the marker to the training grounds. Okay. F to get on the horse. You must be Luisa, our new club member. I'll tell you a little bit about the tournament and the training ground. The tournament consists of three classes, beginner, advanced, and expert, with three competitions each. You must win all nine competitions to win the tournament. You must always finish first in the competition of the tournament to be able to participate in the next. And your horse must have reached the necessary level. So use the training ground to advance your horse to the necessary. The horse can only gain experience for competitions on the training ground. To reach a higher level for your horse, you have to complete the training course, called a parkour, without getting too many points for fouls. Yes, I understand. Before starting your training, you can choose a parkour to train on. Right into the yellow marker here at the training ground. Okay. I think I got it. At the moment, you're only at the level one parkour, so you can't choose another one yet. Now, select the first parkour. Okay. As later in the tournament, you'll be against the clock. Try to you'll get fault points if you don't take an obstacle correctly. Every fault has it. Okay. I've played a video game before. Let's try this. All right, select the training by writing to the yellow marker. Okay, start. Oops, so it's just timing here. Oops, I messed that up. Okay, the controls here guys are very wonky trying to actually hit these things. Time penalty. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can get used to this because the controls trying to do this are not kid friendly at all. And that is a problem. Oh, 
really hard to turn here. It just takes a little getting used to it. It's like, oops. If, if I'm having a hard time getting controls down, though, I think kids are going to get really frustrated. But I'm already getting better. Um, I just think kids are going to have a hard time with this. Uh, maybe with a controller it'll be a little bit better, but I don't think so. I think this is controls within the game that are really, really wonky. Alright. Alright. Start the training by moving into the yellow marker. That didn't okay. go so well. Just try it again. Okay, let's try one more time. Alright, five, four, three, two, I, I one, go. I could have easily, easily hopped out of the corner. Oops. There we go. Uh, ah, I messed that one up. Too late. I'm jumping too late. That didn't go so well. Just try it again. Alright. I like the birds and stuff like that in the distance. I like the sounds. The, the open area looks pretty cool. <laughs> now because now I'm going slower, I jumped way too early. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. I can't even turn. What is the, what the turning? The turning is, the turning needs way more, the turning is way too slow. Yeah, these controls are wonky as hell. A kid is gonna hate this game. A kid is gonna hate trying to control this horse. Like here I am trying to do this uh, this competition and uh, yeah, this isn't fun. This is awkward. The controls are frustrating to say the least. And I'm a, I'm an experienced gamer, guys. Can you imagine how an eight year old how they're gonna feel trying to do this? Yeah, th these it's the controlling left and right while running that is completely broken here. That oh didn't go so well. Just try it again. Yeah, I think a, I think a kid's going to be fuck, like screaming and crying and angry right now. We're going to try it one more time. Oh, uh, All right. Hey, we made that jump. We're going to stay at this speed. See how it controls. Okay. Maybe you just can't go too fast. But you're going to want to go fast when you're in actual races, I have a feeling. Okay, we finally completed it. Alright. Time, 30.32. Again? Why do I want to do this again? I just passed, I thought. How many times does this game want me to do this? You left like your oh my god. Oops. I mean, it's really timing. My problem was with the A and D controls. That didn't go so well. Just try it again. Shut up, dude. Oh boy, what a fun game.
damn it. Jumped a little bit early. Hmm. I think the game should be a little bit more lenient, especially since the target the target audience is gonna be probably young kids. Yeah, when you have young when you make a game like this, this game is not targeting adults like myself. This game is obviously targeting targeting younger children. And when you have controls that are this awkward and non responsive, especially turning left and right, and you're expecting them to hit perfect timing jumps. I think I think kids are going to get extremely frustrated with this. I I think they're not going to be happy with this at all. I mean, yeah, with practice they'll probably be able to do it, but I'm an experienced gamer and I just don't think kids are gonna See, I can't turn left. I can't turn left. That is a huge fucking problem. If a kid gets going slanted towards the uh, fence, and then you can't turn left because it just won't respond. That is extremely annoying. And I'm going to I'm not going to be successful again like that. Guys, I can't even complete the training without getting angry uh, at this game. How do you think a, how do you think a young 8-year-old eight, kid or a 10-year-old kid is going to feel playing this? So, way to the controls are terrible. Uh, especially turning left and right uh, I think the game, this game needs a lot of work. Uh, if you're, especially if you're going to be selling this game for $30. Uh, I understand that you got to win races, you got to have to go compete. But, uh, yeah, this is a, a... See, I felt like I jumped over that and I still knocked him down. Like, this game doesn't need to be nearly this finicky or picky about these jumps. I can't turn right! I'm hitting D! And the, the, the fucking game doesn't even respond. This game is fucking garbage. I am angry now. The graphics look like something that you would see on the PS2. The controls are absolutely terrible, especially considering they want, you know, they are targeting a younger audience in this game. This game... I want to go ahead and thank the developer or the publisher for offering me this game. But right now, a couple, few days after launch, this game is absolute garbage. Especially when you consider the target audience this game is, you know, going for, which is going to be younger children. This is going to be nothing but from frustration for, I feel like, 99% of any kid that plays this game. They're going to be disheartened. They're probably going to be angry or in tears uh, because of frustration, because of lackluster and poor controls built into the game. This is a quickly rushed game. I don't care about the graphics. I don't care about the polish. I don't care that you can take your chicken and change your clothes inside the house. What I care about is the controls. How does the game control? And this game controls like an absolute turd. So, a cry out to the developer, since this is an obvious game that's going to be targeting young children who are passionate about horses, fix your game, fix the controls, quit being so lazy, and quit just trying to make a quick buck based on horses, based on the success of other games like Barbie Horse Adventures in the past and stuff like that. This game is trash. I can't give this game a good score, guys. My first impression score is a lackluster 2 out of 10. And that's mostly based on the lackluster controls, which I feel are about a 1 out of 10. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I don't like this game. Again, I want to thank the developers for uh, offering me this game. But uh, I'm not impressed at all. Save your money. Save your 30 bucks. Uh, you know, and uh, look for other games to... Uh, you know, buy a, buy a good horse movie, buy anything besides this. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99, and uh, you guys have a good day.